Hello everyone, welcome to Foreign Farming in the Philippines. Well, we're going to do a little walk around here and see what we got, got done on the fence today. This is all looking good here. It's easy to get a wheelbarrow through here, it's plenty wide enough. Feels kind of like a racetrack walking down through here. It's going to make it a little harder to spoil the pigs. They won't be able to just reach up and grab the banana leaves. But it is looking good. They've got all this done down through here. Checking the sow here. Maybe tonight. Her bag is full. So maybe we'll have more piglets tonight. This is part of the crew. We're going to move to the new fattening pen. Uh, this is as far as they got on this side of the fence. This little crew here is still doing good. And these are the other ones that we're going to move over there. How you doing, honey? You're still nervous. You just don't like being in a pen, do you? No, you don't. I know. This is the sow we moved into this bigger pen. She likes it better than the small one, but... Jen's saying she's a lot less nervous. She does have quite a bit more room in this pen than she did in the other one. Yeah, we're, we're buddies now, huh? Yeah, we are. Real gentle with you, yeah. I, was, I wasn't even able to touch this sow like 10 days ago. But the banana leaves have sweetened her right up. And look at you, you've always been a... You've always been a banana hustler, haven't you? Yeah, you have. Well, I can't reach any more banana leaves, so all you're going to get is a little bit of ear scratching. Yeah. You're a pretty sweet pig, too. Yeah, you are. You're a pretty sweet pig. Yeah, we need to spend the day getting rice bowls, too. All these, almost all these pins. Need a topping off. All these guys here continue to do well. I don't know what they were thinking here. They did a little bit of this fence and they skipped. They did some more up here. I don't know. But they got about half the slats up today. You figure they got it almost done to the end down there and they've got parts of this side done here. So they still have to do both ends and the rest of each side and put the doors in. So hopefully we can get this done tomorrow. But 
but it's looking okay. I'm pleased with the way it's turned out so far. As you can see, there's no there's no way for a, a pig to step off into the drainage ditch. It's fairly stable. Uh, the poles are well into the cement. They're not in the deepest part of the ditch itself. It's about two inches I'm thinking. That bigger pole right there is down pretty much down in the middle. But the rest of them are kind of up off to the side a little bit so that in a light rain uh, they won't be in the water. There's the gate's going to be right here. We're going to bust out the little Tiger! You're playing pretty rough, Tiger. We're going to bust out this little piece of concrete here. Uh, put uh, a pipe in like we did right there. And just right here on this edge here. I'm going to put that pipe in so that uh, eventually the feed storage shed is going to go right here. And so uh, I haven't figured out which, which way the roof is going to slope. If we slope the roof from my left to my right, it would automatically go into this drainage ditch and run off that way. That way we wouldn't have to worry about it on this side. But if we sloped it from right to left, we'd at least have to put it in to where it would go into this uh, drainage ditch on this side. However Tatai wants to work it, that's how we'll do it. I'm thinking from left to right. I have to level this out just a little bit. It's basically going to be from uh, the corner of this tree back to the corner of the trench. And back here, that's about 10 by 12, 10 by 14, something like that. Uh, it'll be enough for our feed storage for the piggery. Everybody's thinking about making it out of a mackin, but I'm, I'm not entirely sold on the idea of a mackin uh, for security-wise. Uh, I'm of the opinion it'd be easy enough just to kick in a hole in the mackin and tear it off, and you run out the feed could be run away with fairly easily. Uh, I would rather have a cement block structure. I mean you can't keep anybody out who really wants to get in and take something but at least if it was cement blocks with a good door on it they would probably, theory being they would have to make enough noise if they were doing it at night to wake the caretakers up and in the daytime it would slow them down enough to where maybe if we weren't here I mean there's usually always somebody here but uh, there can be uh, 30 minutes at a time when Tate's uh, going to the store or something when there may not be anyone here so if it was uh, secure uh, it would slow them down enough to where someone could come back and and they would take off without running off with too much feed We'll see. Uh, finishing up the fence, one more fattening pen, and the feed storage is pretty much it for the piggery for now. And we'll take a we'll take a rest from it, kind of put it on autopilot, and we'll be able to concentrate more on the fish pens. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.